I am Ryan Smolkin, Chief Entertainment Officer, Smoke's Poutinery, and as a way of saying thank you to all our poutine fans, <laughs> Smoke himself asked me to go coast to coast and lead our team across Canada to Plaid Rock and Roll Gravy Train on an epic adventure to find the weird, the what, the wacky things in Canada. We're loaded up with fries, cheese curd, and piping hot gravy to start a poutine revolution post two goals. We couldn't have done it without you, the fans, and especially with the dairy farmers of Canada. Fire it up! Yeah. And it is about the cheese curd that's on our poutine. The fresh, rich curd from the dairy farmers of Canada. And this is it. This is real. You're going to be tasting curd across the country. We're going to be giving you free spiced up flavored curd across the country. A $10,000 of poutine card. Coming to you. It's on here. Poutine for the, the people. It's on here. Uh, it's on there. Oh, I got a pillow at $10,000. You're ready to rock. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you heard it right. I swear to God, Smoke's Poutine and the Dairy Farmers of Canada are bringing ten thousand dollars of free poutine to all the people across Canada. We're kickstarting our journey through the fog and flying to the most eastern province of Canada. As many of you will know, Newfoundland is an island, and it would take us like. 17,000 years to get there. So we're flying there, baby. Yeah. We are here in St. John's Superland. And this is the kickoff. The Smoke Poutine World Band is breaking in cross country. Fried curd great. Weird wild and wacky poutine eating tour 2022. Did you know that there's more pubs per square foot on George Street than anywhere else? Rock and roll, baby. That's what it's all about. Just walking down the street with a plaid box in hand, baby. That's what spreads the love of poutine to the world. Starting here in Newfoundland, St. George. And we're hanging out with all our fans at the local folk poutine. What if I was to give you a poutine today? Oh my god, what if I was to treat you to a poutine? I love that. I have, I've never been treated to a poutine. It looks good. I'm going to enjoy it. Nice. I want to see yeah. the first bite. I want to see the first bite. Right now we're going to get a bit of cheese. Oh, yeah. This is it. The rookie. The first time. Oh, look at that face. Absolutely. She loves it. If it doesn't squeak, it's, it's delicious. Oh, it's yeah. Excellent. And we busted out the wheel of poutine. We wanted to give the chance to win. Show us your hands, <laughs> Say when he sneezes. We got you! We're gonna scream your name for some free poutine, baby! Yeah. yeah! It's all about the entertainment, baby! Boom! Yeah. I want that so bad! Yeah. 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 You're welcome, guys! You're welcome, yeah. Oh my god, thank you! You're so free! Oh, okay. free. Oh, yeah. okay, wait. Smoke's poutine is the best poutine in the world. And I'm not bribing him at all. I promise I'm not bribing him. He's a veteran from the area. Back multiple times. What's your favorite poutine? Uh, the avalanche. The avalanche. Yeah. It's not a joke. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. What did John Eckert call his right testicle? <laughs> the white ball. <laughs> Boom! That sounds like I just, I just took a dro drive over to Dildo. <laughs> Need I say more? They actually called it Dildo! There's a little Dildo in all of us, baby!
nostalgic thoughts of growing up in the 80s. I don't know if you knew, he was like only like 22 years old and this started back in 1980. The kid ended up only getting not even halfway across the country before he had a relapse of his cancer and he ended up passing away. I was getting really emotional there, but this was the time that this happened. I can remember being with my father, but just to see him and see it start and get kicked, literally kicked off. Uh, from here, this very emotion. I've never been here, never seen that. But uh, to experience and remember back to when I was a young kid in the 1980s, man. He's the icon of being Canadian, going coast to coast, raising money for cancer. He was running on one leg, this guy. And he is a true inspiration, all right? This is what it's all about. When you're out east here, you check this out. And we had to visit Signal Hill. It overlooks all of St. John's, the Labrador Sea, and the North Atlantic Ocean. It's Signal Hill right here. And this is going to oversee all of St. John's and all the ocean and water around it. A great battleground between the French and the English. Come check it out. The highest point is called Ladies Lookout. 548 feet high. And I walked it. It's a million steps. The rock and roll gravy train is just getting revved up. That is it for Newfoundland. Now, yeah, how about we touch the rest of the Maritime Cross Country Adventures? Powered by fries, cheese curd, and gravy. Woo, yeah! Okay, that's all we're gonna get. The sun's up. Let's go already. <laughs> 